Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Belinda and today I'm colouring up a beautiful image from this lovely book, Fairy Tales, Princesses and Fables by Selena Fennick. I'm also going to do a flip through and a review as well, so let's pop in and have a look. So welcome guys, I recently did a uh, book haul and a bit of a play with this one uh, live on my channel last week and I wanted to do a full review and flip through of it for you today. So there's not one but two lots of images in this book which is fantastic, it's great value for money. Uh, you get to either do two images in different colours or there's a whole list of instructions there to do. So I got a, a review copy of this one and I was really excited to get that one and really appreciative to be asked to do a review of it as well. So the paper is uh, kind of like create space paper. It's quite thin in see-through. Uh, so it is not something that you would draw on and uh, just sort of think that the other side of the page will be okay. Uh, you need to put something underneath if you're going to be colouring a, a board of some sort uh, to stop the indentations of the pencil going through to the other pages and also if you're using markers and things like that you don't want it to come out on the following picture. So the images are single sided so you don't have to worry about uh, anything coming through onto the opposite side which is really good. Uh, there is a little bit of a description and a heading on the left side of the page uh, for the image on the right hand side of the page so you can see that that kind of matches up with that. That's the only thing that is on that side um, but I still sort of coloured in with markers in it and uh, you can still read the writing through it and it really is just for your own reference anyway. The images in it are absolutely beautiful. I found them really interesting and beautiful. The stories in them aren't all just the traditional fairy tales either, which is really good. I like uh, that there's something different in there and uh, there was things in there that I'd never heard of before as well. So uh, it was a really great, I guess, learning experience as well as uh, being able to enjoy these beautiful images. A lot of people don't realise that the origins of most fairy tales aren't actually very nice and uh, they don't always end in that sort of fairy tale ending that we all sort of uh, see in the Disney sort of movies. So um, it was really good. I really enjoyed flipping through it and I also enjoyed starting to colour one of these pages with some uh, colour soft, Derwent colour soft pencils. Uh, I did start it uh, as a live video so if you'd like to check that out make sure you uh, have a look in the description. I'll pop the link for that in there for you. Um, but yeah it was really really enjoyable. I actually didn't mind colouring on the paper. It, uh, it The colour soft pencils are uh, not the softest that I've ever used so I can imagine that the softer pencils like Prismacolor uh, Pablos and things like that would actually go okay on this paper. I actually didn't do a test so um, but I will actually probably copy the images onto my own paper anyway. I found that it took me a lot longer to do it in the book because I had to be a little bit more careful of the paper and things uh, whereas I'm going to probably use markers on the images so I'll probably transfer a lot of those images onto my own paper to be able to do that anyway. So the really great thing about the book is that it's actually available in a PDF copy as well. So on her Etsy page, which I will also pop all those links in the description as well, uh, there's actually a digital version of the book so you could then print it on any paper that you would like. Uh, also there was some individual images that are also available. So the one that I'm actually colouring up in this video is available as a single PDF. Uh, so just that particular image which is awesome it means you can just go grab the image if you want uh, without having to purchase the book as well so uh, it is really great that she's got lots of different options for you and um, yeah it, it is a really nice book so I'm actually going to color that page that I was just pointing to then and um, I'm going to use uh, some color soft pencils also I'm going to use a little bit of Prismacolor and also some Polychromos on there and I'm going to do a marker base on the background areas as well so it was a little bit quicker for me to do that way. I used a pencil 
blending solution, zest it to blend out the pencils with a paintbrush and uh, that's pretty much all the info that you would need for the speed coloring part of it. Uh, I'm going to let you guys sit back and enjoy the rest of this flip through and watch the speed coloring so make sure you hang around for that. If you have any questions please don't hesitate to ask. I will put all of Selena Fenix details in the description below. Uh, if you would like to see the full version of the speed coloring I have started that as a live video on my channel already so I'll pop that link in the description as well and also I finished it off uh, for patrons as well so there is a patreon version available with a color list and also some conversions there from the Colorsoft to other brands of pencils in case you don't have those as well so you can check that out in the description and also in the top right hand corner of the video there's a little information box with patreon details there as well so that's everything I have for you. Sit back and enjoy guys and uh, make sure that you have subscribed if you haven't already and click on the little bell if you want notifications when I upload new videos. If you like this book and the video give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all of those things and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!